morning Deer Park. Welcome back. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. Today's toolbox talk is going to be on electrical safety and electrical safety on the job site can be achieved by using a ground assurance program uh, and GFCIs. This is a GFCI. It's a ground fault circuit interrupter and what it does is detect slight changes in amperage. So when this is plugged in at your power source and your extension cords are plugged from this point on to your tools, anything that is damaged, this GFCI should detect and open up the circuit and shut the power down. But what you want to do is inspect your GFCI. There is a push reset button on all GFCIs. This is how you test them. If you find that they are not working properly, get rid of them. Tag them out, bring them to me. If we don't have them, let us know so we can get you one. But these have to be tested and checked regularly before each use. Remove this if you find it faulty. The reason why the, this little tool is a lifesaver. Remember, it only takes 70 milliamps to disrupt normal cardiac function. There is more than 70 milliamps flowing through these electrical extension cords. An assured grounding program is designed to ensure that equipment extension cords are properly grounded. Here is an extension cord that has been properly inspected. There are quarterly inspection requirements. All extension cords should be color coded based on the quarter that you're in. So right now we are in the winter months. There should be a white piece of tape on here somewhere that says hey, I performed my quarterly um, extension cord inspection. Another issue with extension cords, we cannot repair these unless you are a certified electrician. And with that, you are able to return this extension cord back to the UL listing. You're not allowed to repair extension cords in the field or here at Deer Park. The OSHA requirements for construction is a three-pronged heavy-duty rated extension cord. This is also critical. A lot of your power tools are double insulated rated. With this carrying all your power, you want to make sure that you have the proper gauge. It's rated for hard or extra hard. That's the requirement for construction. The ground pin, a lot of times what you'll find is the ground pin has been removed. Like I said, you can't repair this cord. Um, extension cords are very expensive and once it's damaged they're garbage. Uh, don't attach extension cords anywhere permanently. You're not allowed to run them through walls. You're not allowed to attach them to buildings. Extension cords are for temporary usage. They are not designed for permanent use. If you have a building, the interior, and you have extension cords and you're using them as permanent power, just know under general duty clauses and general industry, that is an OSHA citation. Extension cords are for temporary use. So all power tools must be three-pronged unless they're listed dub double um, insulated. And if they are listed double insulated, they will have a D with a circle or a square around it, and they won't have that third prong. Make sure that the ground pin on the three-pronged double insulated power tools is present. If the ground pin is missing, inform your supervisors. Like I said before, not all double insulated tools are going to have a ground prong because they're double insulated. So that has to be put into your grounding insurance program. Check all cords. Like I said, if you find a bad extension cord, and I've seen a ton of them, take them out of service. Let us know so we can get you the proper extension cord. This was a Milwaukee bandsaw from a project. They did their quarterly inspection on the extension cord part of this bandsaw. This was inspected early spring. That's the color coding for early spring. Summer is red, winter uh, and fall are white. He was not using the tool properly and cut the end of the extension cord off and replaced it with a household extension cord, um, no ground prong, and he was working in a very wet area while this was going on. 
So make sure that you take care of your tools. A situation like this could cause a lot of, a lot of bodily harm. Um, definitely electrocution. Another thing that I see, the way extension cords are hung from ladder racks on these trucks. That's not the proper way to hang an extension cord. This is right here. Basically, it's just a round wrap and some way to secure them. I typically loosely zip tie my extension cords because I have to cut them. And during that cut process, I'm doing my inspection, making sure everything's here. 